Hi everybody, you are Supreme Toys here again with another 35 pack of Million Warriors. This is my third pack that I'll be unboxing. I unboxed the last two in my first video. As you can see here, I have the little capsules that they come in. These things are awesome. I love these capsules. They're perfect for storing the figures in. Before we uh, open this, I'm going to do a little recap of all the new figures I got in the last packs. These are all the new figures that came with these 35 packs so far. That's a substantial number of new figures. Straight off the bat, we have one, two, three, four, five, six new sculpts and dozens of new designs. This one little guy right here does not like to stand, which is a disappointment. Sometimes you'll get a few that just will not stand, but you know, they're small little miniatures. All right, these two right here are the two die cast figures that came in each pack. So there should be a die cast figure in each one. We'll find out when I open the third one. This is a new Astral. A new hero. We got these new um, mummy, this new mummy sculpt. I really love these guys. These are these are my favorites. I think out of the whole set. These forearm body types are my favorite from Wave One, and <laughs> I'm glad they're reusing them because all of these guys just look awesome. These are the best sculpts from Wave One, in my opinion. Then we've got these cowboy sculpts. I'm not too keen on the cowboys. They're okay. But I'm just glad that we got something new. And there was a lot of cowboys. We have some new designs for the sumo body. Got some ugly guys here. I love that lucha dude. I love the guy with the handlebar mustache. The little Hulk ripoff. The hillbilly guy. He's pretty cool. I had an uncle who looked like him. And then now we got the pirate bodies. These are okay. I feel about the same as the cowboys as I do about these guys. But as long as the designs on them are okay, like this 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 sunken undead pirate guy with a starfish on his head is pretty cool. That guy literally has two eye patches and a third eye on his hat, which is weird. Here we have the uh, wrestler body type with a new design. I like this big-headed alien robot design. These are pretty cool. I love this one right here with the eyes. I like this orange one too that wants to fall down. Let's see if I can stand him up. But my favorite one is this, this, this robot guy right here. He's just very cool. We got the new football body sculpt. These designs are okay. I like the bigger figures, so it's cool to get these guys too. There's quite a few of them, and I really my favorite one of the, uh, these is this American dude right here with the eagles. And then we got these giant, I call them ant heads, I don't know what else to call them, but they have these weird bug shaped heads. And the designs are actually pretty nice. I like the three eyed guy. I think my favorite is this glittery dude right here in the middle. And then we've got this ugly guy right there. Then we have a. Uh, New, some new designs of some Series 1 sculpts, which are okay at that, but, but ultimately forgettable. The Ninja is alright. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. As I covered in the last video, these 35 packs come with this little capsule launcher thing. You can store your figures in the capsule and they'll fall through with the little tab. And then you can kick them out. That's pretty cool. It also comes with this little display playset, so you can set up your figures and then knock them down or store them or whatever. I like the box art for these guys. That was one of the first things that drew me to them. Is the box art is very good. It's annoying that there's one character on this box art that I still have not found from Series 1. Of course, there's two others. Another close-up of the capsule launcher figures that are displayed on the little display on the back. I'm going to tilt the camera up a bit. There are three different displays. 
you have this uh, ancient Roman display with a volcano. So I guess that's supposed to be the ancients. And then you have the one for the astrals, which is like a space themed. And then the heroes, which is a city theme. I had gotten the city theme and the volcano theme one in the last two packs. And I specifically tried to pick out the space theme in this one. I'm sorry for the glare of the light. I'll try to show you how to spot which pack. If you grab these guys off the shelf, you can look right down here in this seam and the little pop-up. You can see the edge of part of the pop-up art. So right away, you can see all those little swirls that is and stars that are part of the space theme set, which I did not have. As you can see, if you look at the picture, you can see the top of it, these stars and the top of that blue from that black hole. So all of them are like that. You'll be able to look at this backer and then look at the edge of that and try to figure out which diorama you've gotten, if you care about that, and if it's significant. Because I don't know if I explained correctly or clearly enough how the pack outs for the 10 and 20 packs worked. So I'm going to try to show you an example. Say I bought two 10 packs. There's 10 figures in each pack in their strips. So let's say we got these four guys, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Say these 10 guys are in one pack. I found these 10 guys right here in the front row in that first pack, for instance. And say the other 10 pack I found these five guys and five of these cowboy guys. So far I've found approximately nine different figure assortments for the 10 packs and the 20 packs. I have not found the gold warrior, so, and I'm missing two of the rare hero figures. So there is another pack out there, and I don't know if those two hero figures come in the same pack as the gold figure or not. But let's just say there are nine different 10 packs available. If you bought 10 10 packs, you would at least get one pack that had these same 10 figures in it. So they're not completely random. The assortment is random, but the figures in each assortment isn't. And it's the same for the 20 packs. If you bought a bunch of 20 packs, you're going to get duplicate assortments. So that means if you get two 20 packs, there's a good chance you're going to get two duplicate 20 packs where you'll, you'll open your first 20 pack and you'll get 20 new figures. And then you open the next one and you're going to get the same 20 figures. I didn't like that. I give kudos to Spin Master for having their manufacturing process so tuned in. But these are, in my opinion, are supposed to be blind boxes. Now, if you want to complete your set quickly, just buy a bunch of 20 packs and you'll chip away at that, but you're going to come back with a lot of duplicates. Now, with the blind box toys, duplicates are part of the game. It happens. It, it, that encourages you to trade with your friends if you have friends that collect the same line or if you get your friends into it, but it really takes away that spontaneity because it got to a point with me when I bought a 10 pack or a 20 pack and I opened that first figure, I'm like, oh, I already know which pack this is. I already know which figures I'm gonna get. And I almost never seen any deviation from that. There was a one occasion where um, they accidentally packed two of the same figure in a row, but that was very few and in between that that happened. With that being said, this is only my third 35 pack. And the first two 35 packs were both different dioramas and different pack outs, different assortments of figures. So that's why I got so many new figures. Now, this third pack, this 35 pack here might have all new figures. Maybe it'll have a duplicate assortment of the ones I already have. I don't know if it's relevant to 
the diorama. But I do know that for the 20 packs, it was relevant to the window box figure because there's three types of 20 packs. One for the ancestrals, one for the ancients, and one for the heroes. So you would have like, say, three different pack outs for each faction. And you will always find your die cast figure in his designated faction 20 pack. So if you're if you got the ancient pack with the knight on the front, that's going to be where you get your little Zeus looking guy. And if you got the one with the giant rancor looking monster, that's the one you're going to get the xenon guy that looks just like this one. And likewise, the heroes the heroes would have Captain Smiles, the space dude. I might buy a couple more 10 and 20 packs just to show you exactly what I'm talking about because I did keep track of which figures came in each packs. I'm going to go ahead and rip open this 35 pack of figures for you. I'm just going to grab it right there. Usually I use a uh, razor knife to cut my stuff open, but I just throw these away. got the diorama. Let's take a quick look at that. And it is in fact the space diorama. These are pretty neat. These are pretty cool if you, you have a shelf big enough to store them on. They're pretty wide. So there's no way you can't not fit a lot of your figures on it. And you can hide them in these little cubby holes and stuff like that and play a little game with them. It's actually pretty neat. Pretty neat little uh accessory to have and the only issue is it's paper of course so if you get it wet or it's going to break down or it's paper so you accidentally rip it and tear these little pieces off but I love the fact that it's a little pop up diorama that's so cool uh, got the little alien in a jar there another alien in a jar this little computer Giant vat of acid, meteors flying around in space, a couple black holes, the floor is kind of plain, but yeah, that's that. Again, you get your little checklist, which is mostly useless for these 35 packs because most of the figures that you get in the 35 pack aren't on this checklist. This is the series one checklist. And you got the instructions to on how to use the little capsule launcher. Got your little uh, backer insert. You got one strip of figures. capsule launcher a second strip of figures more inserts I might actually use one of these inserts for the thumbnail because these are really good They're really good art and trash the rest of the figures are inside of the capsule Clever packaging design. I like how they did that. Third pack of figures. And the last fourth pack of figures is all rares. In their little gold packaging. As I mentioned in my last video, the rares, other than the gold warrior and those two from series one that I haven't found, there are no rare rares. What makes these special is they'll either come in glow-in-the-dark plastic or glittery plastic or translucent plastic or be die cast which I can immediately tell another die cast guy in here so these 35 packs I guess set the price off but it's a higher price you get less figures but you do get the you do get the little capsule toy capsule launcher toy which is actually pretty fun pretty good little accessory and then you get your lid and your diorama 
So I feel like the little diecast figure that's guaranteed in every pack gives you that little bit of value. I'll open these guys last. Let's see that we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine again. And then surprisingly, we get a nice hefty sum of rares in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rares. So you get 25 commons and 10 rares in this pack. We're gonna go ahead and start with the sevens. I'm anxious, I'm always anxious with the uh, first figure. I know the first three or four figures in the last two packs were the same and they were all series one. I don't know which envelopes they came in. So I do expect more doubles but I'm hoping for a lot of new figures. All right, this is a good sign. This is a Series 1 figure, so that's a duplicate. But I did not get him in the last pack, I don't think. Let me check. I have all the duplicates in this container. Yeah, I don't see him in there. So I think this is an all-new pack. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. So that's one duplicate from Series 1. Another Series 1 duplicate. He does not want to stand. There you go. Alright. This, this is the Rancor guy from the 20 packs that I was telling you about. If you want the Xenon dude, the diecast dude, these are the packs you'll be looking for. And as I mentioned, the 20 packs with the diecast figures will just be a tad heavier, just a little bit heavier than the rest of the 20 packs that you'd find. All right, and we get on to our first new figure an ant head dude. That is cool. He's got an eyeball in his mouth full of teeth. Uh, yeah. I really like this. I'm so glad I, I, I tried to get this third 35 pack. I am wary about getting more 35 packs, but because that's I, I'm worried about that continued assortment issue. But maybe there's multiple different 35 packs. I don't know. Next guy. Oh wow! They reused the series one tiki headed dude and they made him like a knight and I like that so much better because I'm not a fan of the tiki guys but this guy is really cool I love that that's, that's a nice helmet looking I love that horned helmet alright next another pirate this is a lady pirate how about that one eyed lady pirate I like her I like her. She's cool. And the last pack for this strip of seven. Oh, another mummy dude. Let's see what he looks like. Ah, he's like a living pharaoh. I was hoping they'd continue with the undead motif. He's okay. I still like that body type, but not too keen on the uh, regular pharaoh looking dude. New figure, though. All right, let's see. Guess we'll do this strip next. Knocking over my guys back there. Don't want to knock over my guys.
He shot me. He shot my dad. All right, let's see. I know everybody on uh, YouTube has their own way of opening these. I've watched watched a lot of people's videos. Some people rip them off. They're these they're these little uh, these edge. This they're cut right here, so you can tear these off like a little ticket, like that. But uh, I've been, I was buying so many of them that I just rip it off so I can throw it all away and don't have to pick up all the pieces. Some people use scissors and cut them open. I just think it's interesting how people have different ways of opening these guys. Let's see. A football guy? Yes. Uh, is he new? Yeah, that's a new football guy. I like the football guys. They're growing on me. This is a... Uh, this is a body type that you make a lot of because if you have a lot of football guys, it makes a little bit more sense. You can have a entire team. All right, what do we got in here? Also, I'm a new four-armed guy and can't get enough of these guys. Even if they're duplicates, I love these guys. He looks a lot like an alien from John Carter, Warlord of Mars. I like that. Nice. I'm sorry if in my first video it was hard to see the figures. I'm trying to improve that way uh, it's a lot better. Another ant guy. And he's really cool. He's really bugging out. I love that. Man, these guys are just... These designs are so fun. It's, it's just, as I said before, it's just neat that they can take the same sculpt and make so many different designs out of it. Pack. Ooh, a Cyclops robot. Nice. Nothing to write home about, but. Alright, another double. This is only my second double for these this new wave of figures. I got another Hillbilly guy. In the last two packs, I got two of um Two of one of the football players. Alright. Is that a new cowboy guy? No, this is a duplicate cowboy guy. So I'm wondering if these are random or not. But I haven't bought enough packs to know. All I know is that just because the 10 or 20 packs assortments would always be the same they would pack in duplicates between the assortments. So you might get two different packs, but you'll get the same figure in each pack, at least one figure that was the same. Here's a third duplicate for this wave. Pig-nosed football player. Another duplicate. Hope that's all. Hope that's all the duplicates I get in this pack. A new knight. Series 1 body type, night body. I think this is the first new night I've gotten. Yeah. This is the first new night I've gotten. And last, a Viking. Ooh, and it's a new Viking. A new Viking. I like the Vikings. And this is a new Viking. He's got like a... Uh, a wolf skin... Or bearskin helmet, or some other kind of horned animal. These little bare feet, or whatever they are, on the back on the back of his shoulders. That's cool. So I'm getting a nice little mix of old and new. <clears throat> Strip number three. A new pirate. Up oh, a buck tooth pirate. Got a gold tooth. Nothing special. This number on the back of his head is the uh, assortment number. You look at the back of the packages, you'll see this number um, imprinted in the cardboard. So that lets you know which assortment they came in. That's basically legal nonsense. It has nothing to do with 
the figures. Not all of them have that, by the way, as you can see here. All right, this is a series one repeat. This has a duplicate. All right, another series one repeat. One of the samurai guys. I like the samurai dudes. I, don't, I haven't gotten any new ones of these. I'd like to get some. Paper's being difficult. What do we got here? Another pirate. A new pirate. He looks like he's made of wood or grass or something, or a monkey. Interesting. I'm not too big on the pirates. Well, what are you gonna do? That's another football player. Yep, another duplicate. This will make three of this guy I have. This is the one I got duplicate of in the last two 35 packs. Don't fall down. Alright, let's see here. Another Series 1 duplicate. I wish I knew for certain if these were random or not. But I won't know until I buy more packs. That's the thing is, the more you buy, the more duplicates you'll come across regardless. Series 1 duplicate. This is the guy you will get in the Heroes pack of the 20 packs. He'll be the window figure. This is this a sumo? Alright, a duplicate of the handlebar mustache guy. I like him. Either way. I'm not gonna complain. And lastly, let's see what we got. A cowboy. And this is a duplicate as well. This is that barbershop quartet looking dude. Don't care much for the cowboys either. So a lot of duplicates so far in this pack. A lot of Series 1, a lot of duplicates from the last two 35 packs. And now, our rare strip. I'm, I'm interested to see if I got a duplicate die-cast figure. He'll be on the end. Let's see. These should all... This whole strip should be the new, new series. Got another uh, Tiki head guy. As you can see, he's got the clear plastic, translucent plastic. And that is a cool mask. He's probably the better looking, one of the better looking Tiki guys I've seen so far. I just really like how clean the uh, Tampa design is on the uh, figures. Those guys tend to have a hard time standing. I've had a lot of those from Series 1 that just don't want to stand. Ooh, wow. A new football guy and he's got flames he's a translucent orange he's on fire he's angry uh, I like him that's the that's probably like one of the other man that's a cool one he's right up there with the uh, eagle dude alright let's see here next please you don't want to come out Ant head, translucent. Let's see what his face looks like. <laughs> I like that. He's cute. He's adorable. All right, next up, another translucent Viking. Huh. I want to say he's a series one, but he's not. There's another ice viking, but this is a completely different ice viking. I'm gonna have to check the uh, the checklist real quick. Was I do not remember him, but I know there was another viking that was made of ice. 
Yeah, Frosty Frank right there. And that Ice Storm guy? Oh, is that is that him? That is him. Huh. I must have only had like one of him. Huh, interesting. And a duplicate. I wasn't expecting that to be a duplicate, but it was. <clears throat> Oh well. What do we got here? Another football player. Oh cool. He's like a monster. I like that. Dirty monster. Awesome. Next. Another ant head. Looks like glow in the dark plastic. Slimy. Whoa. And I thought the last guy was screaming. This guy has six eyeballs and a giant gaping maw. That is cool. I like that one a lot. Next. Another tiki dude. This looks like a new one. Whoa. Got a dragon helmet. He's all right. Kind of creepy voodoo vibe there. I'm down to my last three. Three more, guys. Three more. Another cowboy. And this is a glittery cowboy. I do not have him either. He's a 50. That means he's extra rare. Allegedly, I would like to see these not be actually rare because, as I mentioned, only the gold one seems to be rare so far. I've only seen two people at this point get one. Oh. A new robot, and he's like, What are you looking at? And he's glittery too, also a 50. That's what you'll uh, find with these rare packs. Of these um, the rares are always packed in in rarity order. So if you get a stripper rares, you'll always get the blue rares, followed by the green, followed by the red, and then the last guy. If you get one of the silver, will be the last guy in the pack. And as I said, this is heavy, so this guy's definitely diecast. And I hope he is not a duplicate. I hope I'm correct that there are... It's like Willy Wonka. You gotta open it slow. That looks new. I see blue. Let's see what we got. Ooh. I already like what I'm seeing. Blue flames. Ooh. That is cool. He looks a lot like Hades from Disney's Hercules. Oh man, I dig him. He's die cast. Wow. He's he's the winner of the of the whole thing. He's awesome. Golly, that's cool. It's nice that they actually give you a die cast figure in each of these 35 packs. That's just so awesome. That was actually a pretty good run. I'm gonna count the duplicates, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 duplicates. That means I got 21 new figures out of that pack. You cannot beat that. From first impressions, figuring out which diorama is in your pack will tell you what you're getting. I have The only way I could verify that would be to buy more 
35 packs, they're expensive. And I'm not going to be doing that anytime soon. Maybe I'll pick up a couple five, uh, 10 and 20 packs um, when I have the time to help explain what I was talking about earlier with the assortments. This was a successful opening. Got a lot of cool new guys. Got a few handful of uh, duplicates. I'm happy with what I got. I really wish they were a little bit cheaper. $25 is a lot of money for miniatures. But for the play value, I think you get a pretty good bit of play value out of this. If you're just interested in figures, the 20 packs are still the way they go. But as I mentioned, there's going to be a point where you're getting nothing but duplicates. If you want to expand your collection, pick out these 25 packs according to the dioramas in each pack. I'm glad that they make it to where you can actually see which diorama is in each pack. That way you can pick out different assortments. 21 new figures. That gives me like 60 new figures to add to my collection between all three of those packs. I can't be disappointed in that. This toy line is pretty awesome. It's got great potential, but its duplication flaws with the assortments is a big negative for me. But if you can figure out how that works, you can try to avoid it as much as possible. If it's of any interest to anybody, I'll post a video that clearly shows you which assortments I've found for the 10 and 20 and 35 packs. That way you know what to expect. But other than that, I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing. This has been You Are Supreme Toys with a Million Warriors 35 pack battle pack. Thanks for watching.